today we've got the Bailey Pegasus Modena. I think that's how you say it, Modena. Or is it Medina? I don't know, shall we ask Dan? Is it is Modena Italian? Italian that is, isn't I it? So. Mod Mark's trying to hide from the camera. Uh, is Modena Italian? I just think so. They're normally all Italian, aren't they? Because Palermo and all, all yeah, that Italian, stuff. Italian, doesn't it? We'll have to ask Dan afterwards. In this one, you can sleep like a dream, and we're going to come to that in a bit. Um, nice, nice van with locked cupboards that I can't get into. Um, let me get the key. Hey, oh, yes. they're on the wrong one. That's, it says it's they've been sold. Uh, got too many caravans for sale then, obviously. Not obviously. enough sold. Obviously. The Bailey. Is it a Modena or a Modena? Modena. 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 Sixteen A B C D E F G. Sixteen. Two thousand and sixteen. Uh, so two thousand and sixteen. This one. I've got the keys now. Um, Thirteen hundred k kilograms kgs uh, MTPLM. So maximum weight of thirteen hundred. Eleven twenty six. It stands here now. So a cracking lightweight van. Um, now I've not looked in this property, but I'm presuming that we, for 1300 kilograms on this sized van, we don't get a very good washroom. I suppose it's going to be a small little uh, washroom in this one. But we do get a underbed locker with a little wet tray there. We've got wheel locks in there, the winders. Um, I thought you were going to say wine then. Oh no, no wine in there. I've drunk it all. <laughs> um, 13 pin electrics on the Al on the Alco chassis. Nothing to really shout about around this side, just our normal water in, flue for the heater, the toilet at the back. So let's have a look inside. Now, where's the gas locker? Uh, no, no, you don't have gas on this one. Ah, it's it's behind the door. Hiding. Um, so I mentioned on this one, it's a dream. You get a dream sleep on this one. That's the only thing that lets this down slightly room for one. is no, no, you've got room for two, but you can only have a 3.9 and a 6 kilogram ah, okay. if you're using uh, propane. So, and then they're a little bit, they're always a little bit awkward to get in there, it needs a good clean as well. Um, so, I mentioned on this one, you get a dream sleep. Uh, and the reason why I mentioned you get a dream sleep on this one is I've not seen this before. Have a look around here, you've got a little QR code on the side. Oh yes. So I thought, right, I'm, go I'm going to scan that. I'm going to test it. The link didn't work, did it? Oh. So the, the link that it should have been doesn't now work. So, oh, because okay, the link, link doesn't work, I'm going to show you how to make the bed at the front. I don't know why you really need to make the bed at the front. I suppose if there's four of you, and there's two couples and you want two double beds. Yeah, you know, or you you've got them. two kids, because that's a bit of a small single bed this year. Yeah, because you could use two kids on here, top and tail, couldn't yeah. you? So we're going to show you how to make it into the dream bed that the QR code should have showed you, that doesn't show you, that I'm going to show you. Mm. So we remove our cushions, we just get these out of the way to begin with. Remove our little bolster side rest. We're going to remove our back cushions. You see why people buy fixed beds now, can't you? Yeah. Uh, where's it gone? So we drop our little table down. I'm going to remove these cushions just for the moment. Now, what you're supposed to do is the little end cushions there, you're supposed to turn them over. Um, but I don't really think it makes a huge amount of difference turning them over, to be honest. So I'm not going to... You're not really going to sleep down that end, are you? Because no. it's under the shelf. And then we turn this one over this way. Well, you wouldn't win the uh, fixed bed making up competition with this one, would you? Probably not. We then turn this one over this way. Ah, oh, and those infills go in the middle. Yeah, this drops them back into oh, the so middle. What, so what do you do with those side cushions? Let me show you. Your side cushions then are your pillows. Oh. 
Well, the side, 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 side cushions. Go underneath. Just go underneath. Right, okay. And then what you can do is if you don't want that bit sticking out like that, you can actually remove that bit. And so yeah, that's how, once that sort of cushion and that wall just normally unclip properly, uh, that's how the bed should be made. And if the little sticker on the side worked, that would have said how that bed makes. Um, and it's not too bad. It's it's not as um, fiddly as it looks, I think. Uh, and then again, going back, it's always a lot quicker. But it's just making sure that the bottom cushions then sit in the, in the right way. Yeah. back together um, so it doesn't take that long uh, but obviously it does just take a bit of setting up but that's the proper way to actually make the bed up um, we've got our little spotlights around this nice big front window with our fly screens and blinds and then all of our fly screens and blinds and all of the other windows we've got the radio nice kitchen area and again we've got our little fold up unit just on the side we've got our Truma heating that works off the gas and electric uh, we'll put a little pop-up in that if you need to know how that works and um, we had a look at an Avondale earlier on in the week uh, which has got the battery it no it's a spare wheel in the floor hasn't it um, Bailey now put the batteries in the floor in these so it's got the battery already fitted in and then nice amount of room underneath of us our bed. Oh, this is the proper bedroom. Proper, there yeah, as well. proper, proper bed cover to go over the bed once you've got your sheets on. Um, and then all of our carpets. We've also got our electric box in here as well. So our two thirty trip switches and oh, our there. fuses and whatever, you're just all there. Plenty of storage on that. Nice amount of storage. We've got our three gas rings and our electric, and then our three way fridge. Good size fridge. Um, nice nice fridge with our little freeze compartment up the top there as well and um, just on this side we've got a little hidden uh, cutlery drawer, cutlery drawer. Um, so that's where our cutlery drawer goes and again the gas box is at the sort of back of this um, so it works quite nice having that cutlery drawer and a little bit of extra storage little locker just at the side just for bits and bobs and again we've got a 230 volt socket and our tv sockets and 12 volt point there as well and all of our electric switches just there so we'll look at the bathroom we certainly shall our little bathroom light switch isn't that one it's got the pull cord so we've got the separate shower and toilet which i'm oh, surprised it's quite a big bathroom it's, hasn't it's a cracking cracking washroom um, you'd have thought with the size of this bath that would have probably been down to a combined shower and toilet with yeah. the weight they've they've really really come up with trumps on squeezed this squeezed it all in haven't they and it's quite they nice because there are quite a lot of skylights roof lights in the yeah. ceiling so it's very nice and light in here um plenty plenty of storage all the way around and um, we've got our storage underneath mm, here which yeah. is sort of our wet locker as well there access from underneath and then this side we've got our boiler but then at the front there Still we've got there. loads of storage up that front section too so a cracking cracking little lightweight fixed bed four berth van and you can sleep four people by making that front bed up at the front there as well Hopefully you've liked our little review on this little Bailey Moderna. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think and thanks for watching on Mark at the Caravan Place.